Hello everyone. We are so excited about the launch ceremony of official website of Global Child Prodigy Awards and uh, blessed by His Excellency Eric Solheim and dozens of child prodigies from across the world to witness this live. As people join in, we'll give them about a minute's time to do this and we will be going live on our Facebook page of Global Child Prodigy Awards. To kickstart things, we shall commence the ceremony with the Norwegian song from Sucheta from UAE, who is a world record holder for her ability to sing in over 100 different languages. Hello. Hey, Sucheta. A very good afternoon to everyone. It's such an honor to be here. Uh, and thank you, GCPA, for this lovely opportunity. Um, today, I have a special Norwegian song for Mr. Eric, and I hope you enjoy it. Kirchim klofnen som du ser Han røyt og alene Bakum salen slatte kvin Ser han dødens morke grin Så der på står han tore vår For blinde sin egen rot Oh, du vakre vær, se hvem du er, jeg trenger ditt varm takk. Røv min ungdom, stel min sånn, dans med meg en siste gang. Rose rover dagens rand, spytt på meg, men kiss me hand. Thank you. And now I would like to request Prashant Pandey, co-founder of GCP Awards, to give a warm welcome to everyone and get things rolling. Over to you, Prashant. So hello, everyone. A very good afternoon. I'm very happy that you all have connected from different parts of the world. And uh, uh, it gives me immense pleasure to welcome everyone to the website launch of Global Child Prodigy Awards. The only initiative that recognizes child prodigies across the world in dozens of categories such as dance, music, arts, science, innovation, and whatnot. I'm also delighted to welcome His Excellency Eric Soham, sir, and winners of Global Child Prodigy Awards 2020. So now I invite uh, Anjanea, co founder of Glow Ones Ventures to introduce our special guest of the day, His Excellency, Eric Solheim. Hello, everyone. I feel privileged to introduce the chief guest for this event, His Excellency Eric Solheim, who was the sixth executive director of United Nations Environment Program and Under Secretary General of United Nations. He is also the recipient of Champions of the Earth United Nations Flagship Global Environment Award, and Time Magazine's Hero of the Environment Award, and many such accolades. He's a true global leader and is known to have worked relentlessly towards the cause of Mother Nature. We at Global Child Prodigy Awards take immense pride in having him as the chief guest for our official website launch ceremony. Thank you, sir. Thanks, engineer. So, His Excellency, may I now request you to share a few words with the guests and uh, thanks so much to take out your time once again from your busy schedule. Hello, everyone. It's my pleasure to open uh, the website uh, of Global Child Prodigy Awards. Let me start by paying tribute to the staff, to the initiators, to all to the sponsors, to all those who have made uh, this thing possible. Uh, this is very important and you have done a great job and I, I want to thank, uh, thank you all. But of course, even more, I want to thank uh, and honor all the child prodigies, all the young people with big dreams, big ambitions, big talents, if you want uh, to award. There's huge progress in the world. For the first time in human history, nearly all children in nearly all countries start schooling. Some nations, the quality of schools are not that good, but have, except for some war zones, 
all children start in school. But they need to learn more to be better educated, but also they need to follow the talents going beyond education, talents in sports, in arts, in science, uh, in public affairs, wherever they have, have a talent. The more young people follow the talents and the dreams, uh, the more we will achieve uh, in, uh, in, this, uh, in this world. And of course, children, as Nelson Mandela said in the opening, uh, opening quote, uh, children is the biggest asset of any nation. Children are the, the, the platform upon which they will build uh, our common, uh, common uh, uh, future. It's my honor to open this web page and I will give you two main reasons why I think this is so important. First of all, uh, there is an enormous pool of talent out there. So many young people have talents which are undiscovered uh, and they should follow these talents because then they will achieve more. Obviously not everyone can do everything. I mean, not every soccer player can score the final <laughs> goal in the World Cup. Uh, not every talented young singer will be able to, um, to, to sell millions of albums. Not every talented young politician will be the Prime Minister of India. Not everyone can reach everything, but everyone can achieve quite a lot. And if people follow their dreams, they will come longer. And secondly, these talented young people can inspire others. Uh, I have never met a person with no talents. Every single human being has ta ha have talents in one way or the other. Uh, and if you nourish these talents, try to discover them, if you speak at people rather than keeping them down, uh, they will follow their dreams and talents, and then, th then we will reach the moon. If, people, if young people follow the talents, we will reach the moon, we will excel in arts, we will build civilizations much better uh, than previous people. But then we, we should build upon those who are specially talented, that we should nourish the talent uh, of all. I think these are three uh, key ways to achieve uh, great things in life. Number one is very simple, follow your dreams. If you are particularly talented in an area, don't shy away from it, follow it, play soccer, play the piano, sing beautiful songs as you just heard a Norwegian folk song from, played from the United Arab Emirates, what, what, what a treat. Uh, follow your dreams into green politics uh, or uh, into science, whatever is your field. If you follow your dreams and not allow anyone to tell you you should not do it, you will come a long way. Second, look for advice, look for mentors. Uh, if you are 12 years, even if you are the most talented young person in, in, in your field, still there will be old, elder people you can learn from. Uh, you can learn from an older scientist or a star in politics or a star in soccer or, or cricket or whatever ever sports and look to them. When I was a uh, young politician in Norway, I tried to look into what, what are really the great speakers. What are the people who can turn around the crowd by speaking well. I could not of course be a great speaker like uh, Nelson Mandela uh, or Bill Clinton or whoever is, is a great speaker, but at least I could learn from them and, and improve myself. And if you can even have a mentor who can, you can relate directly to, I think that that will serve you, serve you well. And last um, uh, advice, which I know is very much on the, uh, on the, on the, in the line with the Global Child Prodigy Awards, never stop learning. So young people can achieve fantastic uh, achievements. And that's why the Child, uh, Global Child Prodigy Award is so important to recognize that, that talent, to inspire talented people to do more, but also to spread this message to every young uh, human being. Look into yourself, where is your talent, and try to nourish it. So it's my honor to open the website. Thank you so much. I'm looking forward to the conversation. All right, so it's time to officially launch the website. And uh, with that, uh, indeed, uh, having said that, it's so true, uh, Eric, that learning never stops, indeed. And that's what uh, we at Global Child Prodigy Awards uh, believe in. And uh, we will be going live with the website.
officially and thanks so much once again for doing this. It's now, now time to also invite Bonita, uh, who was our GCP Award 2020 winner in category of poetry to recite a poem on climate change. Are you ready, Bonita? Much. Hello, everyone. My name is Bonita Murunji. I'm a 15 year old from Uganda. And today I will recite for you a poem that I wrote entitled Bittersweet Days. I hope you love it. Smoke rising to the sky. Trees are cut down every day that goes by. The deaths of children making us cry as we pray to God that we survive. You see, our earth is dying our earth is crying crying for us to change our ways and do something without talking and talking but with action we want this world to be a better place a place that is safe safe from landslides in bududa and torrential floods in kasese safe from global warming when I go up and have my four children, <laughs> I'll tell them the story of back then, how we saved Mother Earth from dying, how we stopped her from crying, how we prayed to God and survived. And they'll say, those were bitter sweet days. Thank you. Hello, Your Excellency. My name is Horna Zaitan. I'm from San Diego, California, and I'm an 11-time world champion martial artist. And my question for you is, your work with the United Nations, you have worked with many successful people. What do you think the role of your, uh, youth sports, meaning like martial arts in particular, is um, setting up children for success later in life? I think uh, sports uh, have a great, by, by the way, San Diego is a beautiful town. I visited uh, uh, just la last year for some conference. It's such a, so, so beautifully located at the Pacific, Pacific Ocean. So enjoy your surroundings there. But yes, indeed, sports ha have, has a huge role to play in a number of ways. It can bring international cooperation, peace, uh, and bring people together. Because in sports, it doesn't matter whether you are white or black or brown or whatever nationality. You can be from the United States, from China, from Africa. You can still be very successful. So it brings people together. And sport is also a way to really excel. I mean, to develop your talents, to have a passion, a vision, uh, to try to, uh, to achieve, achieve better. So I have a lot of confidence in sport uh, as, a, as one way uh, for human progress. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Excellency. I am Kautilip Pandit from the state of Haryana, India, and I'm a global uh, and I'm a global child prodigy award winner in the field of uh, intelligence. And I want to solve the problems of uh, I, I want to solve the problems of electrodynamics and quantum mechanics. And of course, a great fan of Eric Sir. So, uh, Eric Sir, I have a deep question that ha that I had in my mind from two three years, and I hope that I'll get a perfect answer for that. My uh, question is that in your perspective, what are three major problems that should be cured in order to prevent, in order to prevent the uh, environmental uh, uh, consequences? I believe there are three main environment issues of this century. Number one is pollution. Pollution kills. Uh, it's the biggest, I mean, of course, now we have the COVID-19. But in normal times, pollution is the biggest killer in the world. Uh, and the men, numerous people are dying from pollution in different ways. And in yes. cities, as you also indicate, are among the, uh, the, among the most pop, uh, polluted in, 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 in the world at the moment. So we need to fight pollution. Secondly is climate change. We cannot allow the, uh, the planet to be, uh, to be warmed or heated as it is at the moment. That's dangerous for so many people. And thirdly, is the extinction of nature. Uh, species uh, disappearing, being going extinct, and nature like rainforest or other precious ecosystems uh, being destroyed. 
Uh, this is maybe the most underrated of the environment issues, but it, it's extremely important. Uh, there are some good news here. Uh, in India and Nepal and some other, we now see an increase in the number of tigers, which is very, very promising. Nepal just became the first country in the world which doubled in modern times its tiger population. I mean, I take off my hat for that achievement and India is also increasing the number of tigers by building networks or national parks which, where they can where they can live. So that, that, that's great. And we just mention one other successful nation, that's Rwanda, small nation in Africa. Uh, they are the home of the gorillas, which is one of the species most close to humans. And there we have nine, I mean, you are a scientist, so you know we have close to 99% of our DNA. It's the same for gorillas and for humans. Yes. So we are, we are so close. Uh, and you, and in Rwanda, just to say, they have increased the, the number of gorillas very fast because of very, very good conservation efforts in, 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 in Rwanda. So it's possible. My name is Stacy Free from South Africa. I am an author. My question for you is, what do you hope for the children of the world to achieve, especially those children who are underprivileged and who are not receiving the much deserved education? Because in my particular line of work, as I do my philanthropy work, I meet a lot of children who are struggling to receive education and to find a love and a grasp for education. So what are you hoping that we can achieve as winners of this award, but also as children as a whole? When it comes to the world at large, uh, I believe there are basically three main issues which we all can contribute to. Number one, we need to keep peace because if you start wars and conflicts, everything is much more difficult. I mean, every other issue is more difficult to resolve and I think of course people are dying uh, from violence. So let's keep peace. Secondly, let's uh, rapidly move into development. And for sure that, that can happen very fast. 40 years back, uh, the, nearly everyone in China was very poor. Now this year, there is not one remaining extreme poor person in China. And other East Asian nations like Vietnam or Singapore or South Korea and many others have moved extremely fast. I mean, the South Koreans are now 300 times richer than they were in the 1950s. And of course, every single South Korean is now highly educated. They have higher education in South Korea than in Australia or, or Europe or the, uh, of the Americas, while South Korea quite recently was very poor. So we need to move fast into uh, development so that people can get out of poverty. And then as you say, education is key. There are not the, uh, very, very few extreme poor people in, in the world who are educated. They tend to be illiterate or at least with very limited education. So education is absolutely critical. And the third issue is, of course, to protect Mother Earth. We cannot destroy, uh, destroy our own mother. We should act to Mother Earth as we want to act to our, our own mothers. Uh, mm -hmm. No one wants to abandon your own mother or to treat her badly, speak negatively about her, throw garbage at her. We should mother not do that with Mother Earth either. Thank you so much, sir. Our site is live as you have just launched it. So that is www.gcpawards.com, the Global Child Prodigy Awards Initiative. And uh, our applications are open for the GCP Awards 2021. So our message to all the Global Child Prodigies from across the world who are watching this live or on our Facebook is if you feel that you've got talent that needs to be recognized, please do apply and let the world know. And also, thank you so much for uh, supporting us. Hello, everyone. I'm actually delighted that uh, His Excellency Eric Solem has extended uh, his support uh, to the GCP Awards. And uh, he, he not just officially launched our website today, but also enlightened the child prodigies from all over the world. I'd also like to thank uh, all the child prodigies uh, who, who have joined today, even during the wee hours uh, from countries like uh, US, Canada, and many more. Uh, I wish the entire GCPA team all the very best. And it's actually been an honor to be a part of this event. Thank you. Thank you all so much. I would like to take this opportunity once again to thank His Excellency Eric Solheim. And uh, it means a lot to us, sir, that you took out time from your busy schedule and uh, helped this uh, 
noble initiative of the Global Child Prodigy Awards. And I thank each and every one of you who helped in making this a success. And I'm pretty sure that there is still a long, long road ahead. <laughs>